last couple videos to do while I still have this other mic until I get my hopefully much nicer one in a few days. But we're going to talk about the Undead Unlock chapter because I'm very much intrigued at where this is going to go. Because the, the whole Billy plot twist happening so early was extremely surprising. Uh, like, it would be like if the, you know, in Bleach, the Eisen twist happened, like, immediately as they step foot in the Soul Society. Like, like if it was all just in, within the span of, like, a, like, four chapters or something. As we only just found out about the group under, and, you know, all these other guys, and then Billy, who was... Well, I think seat number three within this group, uh, you know, and now has decided to turn on him. Decided just to kind of, you know, go against them and be like, "All right, I'm out of here. I, I don't, I got, I got more important stuff to do. I've got other, uh, other plans to kind of, you know, move around." And it, again, it makes me really, makes me really wonder. Like, did the author have this from the start planned, or was this something uh, like during the, you know, the serialization of? The series was he just like, no, I am going to do this because, I mean, it works. Obviously, like, we didn't really know any too much about him that would really make you think that, oh, there's no way this is going to happen. But at the same time, we we knew a, at least uh, enough about him that, oh, we thought he was a, just a nice guy. We knew from, like, the Tatiana flashback. And it sucks for me because out of them, I was extremely interested in his character. I've mentioned it multiple times in videos. Because he's like this suit-wearing, like, slick-back hair, badass-looking cowboy dude. Like a sharpshooter. And we even see him at one point. He has, like, uh, the cowboy boots with, like, the spurs. Because he uses, like, the sound to see. Because he's also blind. Like, he's a blind, sh like, marksman. Like, he's essentially, like, a blind, sharpshooting cowboy. I mean, I, that's just super badass to me. I really like that. It, it's it's very unfortunate that he had, like he ended up betraying them because I wanted to see him more, uh, you know, in the story. But it doesn't look like it's going to doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Obviously, like it does not seem like we are going to end up like actually doing anything. I was like pressing the mute button on my keyboard because I for some reason I this is a very easy button. And I was wondering if it would mute my voice, but um. Like, I guess it's getting him this early and, and having him, you know, become a traitor was completely unexpected. I had absolutely zero belief that something like this was going to happen this early before it did. And it wasn't like, oh yeah, could somebody betray them? It'd be like, I, I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe later get enticed by the Sunder group. But one of them already a traitor and seemingly the boss of this group. Again, very, 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 very wild. But... Now they're, you know, they're all these characters, or you know, everybody within the round table group. They're like, okay, we need to figure out what to do because they have to get the round table back. We don't need the exact reason of why the round table is so important, but it seems to have, you know, some vital uh, role in destroying God for their plan for later. So I, I really, really am hyped to see what exactly or uh you know this connects to because it's like what does the round table like have to do with the general plan like maybe they can only add new members or do certain things within their group with the round table or it could just be like straight up like the round table has like some weaponized trait to it that they're gonna need in order to kill god or or something like that and there's more put out here like it's foreshadowed from rip that there's, uh, you know, they have some plan after killing God. I'm guessing it'll be, like, becoming the new gods of their world after, you know, the old ones are destroyed. Or the old one, unless there's more than one. Which is, again, like, a, a pretty straightforward thing to kind of, like, assume. Just based off the, like, the idea of what they want. And the whole idea of how things should be fair. And seemingly that these negators should have a higher position in the world. Because they're... They're the ones doing all this extremely dangerous work for the, the good of the world and the good of the people. And they're not getting really, really anything out of it. Like, the closest thing that they really can get is, like, these high-tech, like, buildings that they live in. Probably have, like, a lot of, uh, you know, luxuries and stuff. But it doesn't seem like, like, they're living like kings and queens. It seems more just like, oh, yeah, we're living, like, pretty well-paid, uh, I mean, 
people who risk their lives every day. It, it's like watching some G.I. Joe. Like, they're like, yeah, you guys have a lot of, you know, you got a gym in your own rooms and probably a cafeteria and even some, like, people work for you. But, like, they're going out on a regular basis and almost dying. And, and they're not, they don't think that they're getting enough uh, recognition for the work is how I can see it. At least some of them. Because obviously if you risk your life. <sighs> Alright, early morning yawn. Uh, if they risk their life end this on a regular basis to essentially do something to prevent the apocalypse and events that alter the entire world to some they would probably think that they deserve almost god status by you know the normal people themselves but the people are trying to you know they're, they're scrambling they're figuring out what to do Shuiz is like giving out orders and like how everyone needs to go about things you know they're they're getting like they're they're getting ready to, to like uh, channel power from Uma Freeze into Uma Burn in order to you know halt its movement, get it all set. You have uh, Izumo and Andy just kind of you know move in to for to try and deal with them. And one thing to notice is Billy, even like during that panel, like when they're going up to use him, he even says like Unjustice activate like as like a you know the little side text for his power. So I'm guessing that it's confirmed that his power has something to do with either duplicating, mimicking, or like just straight copying other people's powers and getting what their abilities are. Because it's unknown exactly how it works. Like, does he have to be in the room with them? Does he have to kind of like just be within the vicinity? Or is it like if he sees them done, he I guess he can't see them. But maybe like if they're used within the vicinity of him, he could use them to a degree. I don't know. But that's what kind of what Izumo and Andy wanted because here's uh, Izumo holding Andy's sword. The Unjustice power has her go and attack him. But that's exactly what they wanted. Andy being in a dead, it's not going to matter to him. She goes in and, you know, channels her power with her own luck, kisses him on the cheek, and then shoots his head with a parts bullet right into the mouth of the Uma Burn. And that just ends up leading him right while they're getting uh, the Uma Freeze to just make him, like, frozen solid. And then here's uh, this whole big unbreakable weapon that is just shoved right into the chest of him. Like frozen, completely solid, and then pierced, completely just rammed right through this dude's torso. You know, he's just seemingly, like I would assume this halts this guy enough that they could get the round table back. Like he looks eh, not in a good position. I mean, already frozen, you could tell like that he's... He's got a lot of his, like, girth just kind of, like, dwindle a bit. But taking that through the chest, like, jeez. And it doesn't, I don't even know if entirely that's, like, the unlucked power that's coming at him. Because, like, they, they, they shoot the, they shoot the big unbreakable thing. But it doesn't seem to be, like, what I would assume would be the power for it. Because they were prepping that up. So I'm wondering if the un unlucked power is still, gonna, like, on the way. Or if it had some tie to, like, all these things hitting. Like, oh, it's unlucky for you that these went exactly the way that they, you know, they were hoping for. Anyway, it's like, a pretty, pretty fast-paced chapter. Like, this this chapter and uh, the last one, they felt... Actually, no, the last one had more to do with, like, Tatiana and stuff. But, like, this one had felt more like it's more for the like an anime build where it's like the the first part of the episode is like way more dialogue when we're kind of just kind of constructing what's going on and then this would be like the action scene because there's not a lot of dialogue this chapter outside of actually there is a lot of dialogue but it, it it's all in like the first couple chapters and it's all like i said it, it's very it, it's nothing really too complicated it, it's more of just them having a conversation i think is better how the way i said there, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of dialogue that is super, like, new direction expanding. It's more going over the stuff that's, you know, been happening and them, like, in these last couple chapters. And then the character is just saying, like, what they need to do in order to deal with this. So it wasn't like they opened up a lot more stuff. Kind of like the chapter when we found out about Under. There was, you know, there's obviously a lot you have to kind of dissect when there's... So like, oh, new villain groups, new stuff about, like, all these different characters. Like, the, the thing with this one was interesting that was set up and not gone too much was their plan to do after they kill God. And, you know, they, what Rip said comes next. So, 
very interested, very hyped. Solid chapter. Nothing crazy, but it was just really cool to see, like, some of these scenes. And I wonder how Billy's going to retaliate against this. Because they probably won't get the round table, but they're, I think they're going to escape. It's really how you see it going. Because if he's the big boss of this undergroup, then he's going to have to get out of there. They can't capture, like, the boss guy this early. But anyway... Other than that, comment below, tell me your thoughts about this chapter, and uh, tell me your thoughts about this series as well. It's, it's definitely fun. I, I, I think the wildness of it is one of the things that makes it really, really enjoyable. But other than that, comment below, thumbs up the video, turn the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate how many already subscribed, and thank you all for listening. Bye.